Yeah, sure. I mean, the exhibition, it has a focus, an emphasis, which is on the way throughout his mature career. Hockney has, you know, really interrogated what it is to make pictures. Why make pictures? How do you capture the real world of time and movement in something flat and static? So it starts with, in 1960 when he just arrived at the Royal College of Art and takes on kind of 50s abstraction and turns it into something kind of queer, a sort of gay propaganda, as he calls it. And then you see him in different ways and different periods exploring how you um, engage with the world, how you describe the world in pictures, while also kind of engaging in a debate about what art is. So a lot of the time in the 60s, he's sort of satirizing abstraction as well and taking some of the rules of abstraction and then making, I think, for him, it more interesting and more human by making it about places and people. You know, he, he just uses the canvas, he uses colour, he uses the camera, he, he uses uh, film in the most exceptional and imaginable ways. And he has this great imagination and this great power to put on 2D what is actually 3D. And he confuses us and he plays with us and he cajoles with us. And, and he wants to, us to step through the canvas with him or through the photograph with him. We are part of the artwork. He's very generous. Well, I think, you know, one of the things that runs through this show, you'll see, is that his ability to capture the character of a place or of a person or of a relationship. So, you know, in the 60s, he captures L.A., and then in the 2000s, he captures the Yorkshire landscape, which he'd known as a child. But I think partly, you know, it is a love of that landscape, and it may be, you know, shortly after his mother had died, so it is a re-engagement with his youth. Um, and, but also particularly dominant is his sort of celebration of spring, year on year on year. I mean, he tells the story that when he arranged to do an exhibition at the Royal Academy of that work, he said, well, it'll have to be two years away because I need two more springs. Um, and I think there is, you know, there is a kind of sense of, uh, of mortality behind that, you know, this celebration of, you know, the eternal renewal of the seasons um, for a man, you know, entering his 70s is hugely important too. David, you know, right from the beginning has been fascinated by finding new ways of making pictures. So, you know, early on at the Royal College, he started making etchings because he said he couldn't afford canvases. Um, and so, he, you know, his etchings are some of the most, you know, innovative um, known. And, and all through his career, he's engaged with something new. So, you know, when, when sophisticated colour photocopiers came in, he started making prints with of, with a photocopier feeding the sheet through so you get these layered images. When faxes came in, he started sending pictures to, to friends by fax. And, you, and then, of course, you know, when the iPhone and iPad came along, he started making drawings, initially just to send to people, and then later kind of presenting them in exhibitions as they are here.
Sí.